The Apple Silicon Macs no longer support Boot Camp Assistant, which means you can't install Windows on them, or can you? There is a workaround, and today I'm going to show you that. Hi everyone, this is Fortnan from Super User Project Dial, and I managed to get Windows running on my Mac with an M1 chip. So I'm going to show you how, you know, I did this. This, you know, I'm not going to show you how to install it, but if this video can get 10 likes, I will do a video on that. But I'm going to show you, you know, just how this works and everything like that. So let's get right to it. So this is UTM and so you can create virtual machines and so I have actually Windows and Ubuntu on here and so it's the ARM version of Windows and so it actually runs pretty good. There are some bugs but if we go in here there are some bugs mainly related to the mouse and so a lot of times like we can't see our mouse which is kind of strange but like say we go to Edge we can go and we can, you know, use it like a browser. So if we go to my channel, we can see it loads up there reasonably fast and it plays on the Mac speakers. So the thing with these is the, the mouse is a little glitchy, but you can, you know, set the resolution and you can make it full screen, but it is still a virtual machine. And so you can't like dual boot it but you run it in this virtual machine, you can use a certain amount of RAM and so that's that's really, you know, how it works and so let me show you, so I'm going to shut these down right here so it boots up very, very quick and of course the SSDs and these Macs are very fast but when I shut it down here, it goes like this and then it has a play button when it is fully shut down Okay, so now we can close this out. And so we also have Ubuntu here, but we have Windows. So if I boot this up right now, it just goes like this. And so I used, you know, uh, installer to get it installed. And so there is just a virtual disk image of Windows that I have on here. And so you can make it whatever size you want. But these, I, it does not support like a TPM or something, so I had to like bypass that. But here we have Windows. So it's actually pretty simple. But if we capture our mouse cursor, then we can come in here and try to shut these down. So as you can see, it's a little bit glitchy. So I wouldn't actually recommend using this yet anyway. But, you know, it is nice to know that it can be done. Windows 10 might be less buggy, but we will check out Ubuntu as well because Ubuntu is running very well. So if we close out of that and try to start up Ubuntu. It starts up like that nice and fast and so if we capture the mouse cursor Ubuntu is working pretty well so I'm going to uncapture that and then make this full screen and the resolution will automatically adjust and then I'm going to capture it again okay so we are in Ubuntu right now and so we can see everything is like this except the scrolling as backwards like on the Mac even though I've set it in the main settings to be the right way and the virtual machine is still backwards anyway so let's open up the Firefox web browser I usually use a web browser for testing because the other pre-installed applications are not that intensive so I'm going to go to my channel and so it loads up nice and quick right here and so if we go to my operating system test video And so I, I don't think that Ubuntu has proper graphics drivers and we may be able to change that. But I guess I have to set the volume here. So like if we open this up, it doesn't have proper graphics drivers and it seems like there's some screen tearing. So the CPU is, is doing pretty good, but as far as this goes, it's actually not doing so well because of the graphics drivers. 
That was a little glitchy. Let's try that again. I guess it does the same thing. Interesting. It wasn't doing that before. Maybe it's because I'm screen recording this. But if we take the resolution down... I guess it's still doing the same thing. That's strange. But if we like try to drag a window around, we can see there is some screen tearing right here. So it's not all that great as far as graphics go, but if, for, for just general usage, it seems pretty good. So let's head over to raspberrypi.org. And that loads up nice and quick. And say we go to our hardware, all products. We can see everything here, software, Raspberry Pi OS. Everything loads up nice and quick like these. And so I think that, you know, if you want to run another operating system on your Mac, I think that this might be a good way to do it if it's something other than Windows. But Windows, you know, it's probably going to get better. And so I hope you enjoyed this and so like I said, if this video gets 10 likes, I will make a video showing you step by step how to install different operating systems with UTM. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time, we will see you next time.